truck today. Um, I spent a couple hours working on the other uh, wheel tub. Uh, I didn't really film much of that. It's hot, so I had two fans going. It's pouring down rain, so I didn't figure the audio would be too good. But um, yeah, trying to make some more progress on this thing. Uh, as you can tell, I got the back wheels on. Uh, we got the bed sitting over it. And we have realized that the rear tires and wheels are not going to fit under the bed without narrowing the rear end and narrowing the chassis. So on top of everything I've got to do before mini mats, let's add narrow the frame and narrow the rear end. So yeah. Here's the other wheel tub tacked in so far, as far as I got today. Um, so I do have to finish that up and all before I can put the front wheel back on. Um, like I said, we did lay the bed on the truck and it's not nowhere near laid out and the wheel is already touching the bedside on both sides. Uh, like I said, these are 22 by 11 uh, Boyds. They were not designed for an S10. They were built for Finnegan's C10 with a four, five by four and three quarter lug pattern. Um, as you can tell, that's how much room we got there between the frame and it is touching the outside bed skin. Uh, me and Brian come up with a solution we think it's going to work. Would be the simplest way to go without building the whole back half. Um, we're going to come in right here with this two by four box tubing, go straight across, obviously notch it for the drive shaft or, you know, build a notch for the drive shaft, whatever. And then we are going to take the factory frame rails and just move them in uh, probably three inches on both sides and then we're going to come back and narrow the rear end two inches on both sides and hopefully I can still use the six link that I want to run I will have to narrow the gas tank cross member but other than that everything else should bolt up to the frame rails like I want it to so that's what we're going to try anyways um, Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna have some more videos coming up. Uh, just doing a little bit here and there, but uh, yeah. Progress, progress is always good. So, got the bed off this thing. Um, I've got a six link coming for it uh, from Phil over at Twisted Images. Uh, spoke to him on the phone yesterday, actually. Um, but yeah, the wheels will not fit between the frame rail and the bed so we're going to narrow these chassis rails and uh modify that six link to work but before we do that um i'm going to get this rear end and all out from under here because i went and picked up a donor vehicle um I, it's a 2000 or something like that s10 blazer uh so we are going to be switching over to that uh disc rear end before we narrow it and uh yeah so that'll be coming up pretty soon is us mocking up all that Well, that was simple enough. Uh, thank you, Brandon, for leaving everything loose for me. Appreciate that. That way it was easy to remove. Awesome. Um, yeah. Now we just got a lot of cleanup to do and uh, a lot of measurements to take because we're going to lop off the frame somewhere right in that area. Uh, use the box tubing to go across. Obviously, we got to build a dry shaft loop. Uh, and then we're going to narrow these babies up. And hopefully the kit, I think he said it would ship out today or tomorrow. I can't remember. I think tomorrow, um, which is the 17th, 18th. Anyways, hopefully soon. I know it's been a month since I made a video. So trying to get y'all some updated videos, some updated content. Just uh, 
been waiting on stuff to kind of fall in the right place and where I could actually get out here and work on it. And yeah, so moving right along. Obviously, y'all seen earlier, I got the front tub built and it's almost finished welded. There's still some more I need to do. Um, have I got to weld up this hole right here? Um, do a lot of cleaning on it. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. We're trying. Man, it's hot. Hot in South Georgia. We're going to make it happen, though. Y'all stick with me. I may not post every week. May not post every three weeks. But y'all stick with me. This truck is getting built. And it is going to mini nats. One way or the other. What's up, guys? It's Friday afternoon. Uh, just had some dinner with the wife. Uh, I'm fixing to go back in the shop and get this rear end out of this blazer so I can get it over here so we can start narrowing it. Um, got a lot of work to do. I'm just gonna put it on time lapse so y'all can just watch. I know y'all have seen people take a rear end out of a vehicle before, not much to it, but uh, here we go. All right, guys, there it is. Um, got that one out from under the blazer. I did get the one from the 89 sitting in place under the blazer. Um, it's about 10 o'clock tonight on Friday, and it's hot and I'm tired. So I'm probably going to call it a night, but uh, tomorrow I'll get back out here and bolt this thing back up so I can pull it out of the shop and get it out of my way. And... Then we're gonna move on to cleaning this up. Uh, like I said, we do have to narrow it. I'm gonna have to order some axles for it. And yeah, I don't know, I'm tired. So, see y'all. What's up guys, it's Saturday. Uh, I'm in the shop, got the fans going. Uh, gotta get this uh, rear end back under this blazer so I can get it out of my way and uh, we can move on, so. Let me get that done, get it out of the way. Yeah, trash everywhere. All right guys, got the blazer out of the way. Uh, got the rear end swapped out. Got it over here just chilling. But yeah, now we got four wheel disc brakes. Obviously needs a lot of work, gotta be narrowed and Frame still got to be narrowed and all, but you get the idea. Progress has been made. Still got a lot to do, though. A lot to do. She's going to look good, though. I got faith. What's going on, guys? Um, just wanted to make a quick video uh let y'all know i appreciate y'all uh watching all the videos um i know the footage that y'all just watched is not a whole lot of nothing going on really uh just kind of some small stuff needing to get done on this truck to kind of get some progress done um finally got some parts in uh which it ain't like I've been waiting on them a long time or anything. Don't get me wrong. I just ordered it probably two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe. Um, ordered the six link kit from Twisted Images, uh, Phil. He actually hit me up and uh, we talked about doing some modification to the kit before he finished it and shipped it out. So that was really awesome. Um, it just came in today. I'm actually fixing to unbox it and just kind of look everything over. So I figured I would film some of that so y'all could check it out. Um, like we said, we're going to narrow the chassis. 
and also have to narrow the gas tank cross member and move the saddles on the axle and everything like that to make this kit work. So uh, that'll be coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah, uh, I can show you all the raw metal kit. My buddy Brian's going to do all the powder coating for me. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long to do that once we get it mocked up and everything. So, yeah, it's hot and yeah hopefully this kit don't get too rusty um it did get rained on today it was sitting on the front porch and it did pour down rain but we'll see all right guys let me mount y'all up here so we can unbox this package Thank you, Phil. Appreciate that. I need that. You guys remind me where I put that because I'll forget. Give me just a minute. Maybe I should just get everything in the box for y'all and then we'll go over what we got. All right, guys. Got everything unboxed. Um, again, this is the six link kit that's going on the back of the S10. Um, it is built by Phil over at Twisted Images. Um, let me tell y'all, this kit is amazing. It is so badass. Um, pretty much it's bolt on. Um, it is gonna be bolt on, except we did have to do a little bit of modification to it just because of how wide the rear billets are and everything, but for a truck that's not running something as wide as I am it, with the crazy offset, this is a complete bolt on kit. Um, like I said, this thing is awesome, man. The welds on it look great, beautiful. Customer service was on point. Like I said, Phil called me, let me know he was putting it together. He was waiting on materials. We talked about it a little bit. I told him that I was gonna have to cut down the gas tank cross member anyways. And I was not running the factory gas tank, so he left these off for me so I could cut this down. Uh, and he left the gas tank mount off too, just so it would look a lot nicer. Um, man, as soon as this thing gets powder coated on this truck, it's gonna be sick. Y'all definitely wanna hit them up if y'all need anything. Customer service, like I said, A1. Stand up guy, quick with everything like got the dog bones for the 22 inch wheels because you can get these in different sizes depending on wheel size um yeah comes with the shocks comes with all the hardware all the bushing sleeves everything you need u-bolts everything you need to bag the rear of this truck like I said, guys, I know, like I said, this video is not that great. I didn't get a whole lot done. Um, I wish I could work on this thing more. I wish I had more money to put into it. But, I mean, you guys know how it is. I mean, you just can work on it when you can. And when you save up a little money here and there, you put money towards your project. And uh, finally got some parts to work with now. So, uh, yeah, this video is more or less just a kind of update for the channel. Let y'all know where I'm at with it. A lot of talking and uh yeah uh 
I appreciate y'all, you know, watching and coming back and checking these videos out because uh, it's fixing to get good now, I hope. Um, hopefully this will create a couple videos, getting it put on, getting the rear set up. Uh, then we can move back to the front and get the front finished up. Maybe I can save up the money to order my arms that I want. Um, and then from there, you know, obviously we got to find a power plant. Um, I think I've got one lined up. We'll see what happens. But, um, and then I all, I want to find another truck also, another donor truck to steal the wiring harness out of and, um, some other stuff, probably some interior pieces and all. Cause mine's, as you can tell, which I've seen, it's pretty good. Um, I do have some of the stuff. I have the dash and all, but it's in bad shape. Uh, door panels look great. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need a carpet kit and all that good stuff, seats. I'd like to find a factory bench seat to put back in it, honestly. But uh, we'll see what we can come across when that time comes. But, uh, yeah. I appreciate y'all for watching, coming back, and keeping up with me. One, you know, doing it when I can. Uh, I know I don't post every week and, you know, have a bunch of money and unlimited budget to just do projects. You know, this is just a kind of a thing I do in my free time and when I got the money to do it. So, but I love it. I love mini trucks. Um, uh, <laughs> most days anyways, but, uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, if y'all need anything air ride related, please hit up Twisted Images Field. Uh, kit is awesome and uh quality quality stuff uh customer service is great and uh yeah yeah that's all i got man can't think right now it's too damn hot but uh oh what'd y'all think about that uh new logo yeah y'all check out rowan concepts on instagram or youtube uh I think he's got Facebook as well. His name is Josh Rowan. Uh, he does awesome, awesome artwork. And uh, I hit him up, and a few days later, he had her had her knocked out, man. Um, super cool. I'll put a little video here at the end showing y'all what I sent him and what he worked with. It's just a little time lapse. But uh, awesome guy. He's in the car scene. He's been drawing, doing it, working on his artwork for a long time. And he's come a long way, and it is badass, and I appreciate him. Uh, I, I appreciate him supporting the channel. Um, and, you know, y'all need to support a small business like him, trying to make it, trying to live the American dream. And, yeah, I'm rambling on. But uh, if you watch this, Josh, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for making that awesome design logo. Um, I'm hoping to put it on shirts and hats and all the cool shit. And hope it's on the back of this truck. And I hope it goes to Mini Nats with that logo on the back of this truck. Under its own power anyways. It's going one way or another, but hopefully it's driven there, not towed there. But uh, one way or another, it's going. But uh, all right, guys. Until next time, we out. See y'all. Appreciate y'all.